Hey, what's up guys? I'm Mercy with DiscountLowVoltage.com and it's time for another product quick view. Let's get to it. Okay, here's a quick look at the mini dead end with the thimble eye. This is going to be reference number 76879. Easy and quick installation, no special tools required. There's the thimble eye, there's a good look at it right there. And as you can tell, it's curved and it's designed for the dead end to wrap around it properly. You'll need to supply your own bolt. And they're most commonly installed to the pole or to the building. There's another great look at it. Now these are designed for fast and easy installation of your ADSS mini span cable. This is designed specifically for a certain diameter fiber optic ADSS cable. So, and they're fairly easy to install. As you can tell, it's curved there. You want to go ahead and put your cable in first. And then once your cable's in there, you want to go ahead and take the other end and wrap it around it. There's a look at it right there. And the spans in a heavy area is up to 275 feet. And a medium is 450, and in a light it's 600 feet, according to the NESC map. Okay, so really quick before I forget, I do want to mention, let's take a quick look here. As you can tell, there's an example. This is out of the Big C Outside Plant Reference Manual I have. You can buy those too. It's a great... Uh, you should have that if you do a lot of outside work. So, But anyways, here's an example of your cable. This is your aerial cable coming in. And when it comes into the building, you know, I'm bringing this up because I get asked, what do I do? Uh, well, how should I handle the section where it comes into the building? Um, what do I do there? I mean, do I just drill a hole? But you're going to want to drill a hole, but you're going to want a conduit sleeve through the building wall okay so that's what you're going to want right there and then you would bring your cable into wherever it needs to go now with that conduit sleeve then you're going to want to get some hydraulic concrete you're going to want to seal the outside of it the hydraulic concrete here is you can go online i'll put a link on the bottom too it'll seal the outside so no water gets through and then what you're going to want to do is for the inside, for where the cable goes in, you're going to want some of this poly water uh, mini foam duct sealant. This works really great, um, excellent for use and conduit from three quarter to two inch. So that's probably going to take care of most of what you're doing if you have a sleeve with like an aerial cable coming through it. So, and as you can tell here, note it seals out water, sewer gases, and rodents from conduits. Um, it's a great product. It's pretty easy to install. I'll put a link on the bottom too so you can check those two things out. So don't forget the hydraulic concrete on the outside. You're going to want this poly water product in the, in, the, in the conduit with the cable. Seal it nice. And then conduit sleeves. So just a little, little tip there.